Here's a quick list of my top picks for apps for songwriters across both iOS and Android. Whether it's key tools to help you write, play, organize your work, write lyrics, generate inspiration, hopefully we'll cover some apps in this video that'll help you in those areas. The sections we'll cover include apps for writing, recording, lyrics, tuning, and notating. I've tried to prioritize here apps that are available on both iOS and Android, so hopefully there's a lot of coverage there. But for apps that are only available for one platform, I've tried to find an alternative for the other. I'll also mention that I'm not sponsored by any of the apps that I mentioned in, in today's video. I'm just giving you my recommendations based on the best ones that I could find today. Let's jump into it, starting with some apps that can help you with your writing. I wanted to start with Tonally because by far, this is probably one of the better apps uh, in the list of the ones I'm gonna recommend to you today. Tonally calls itself a songwriting and practice app. The user interface is super intuitive and it's a great option if you're struggling with where to take your chord progression next. It'll give you intelligent chord suggestions in and out of key. You can interchange between instruments, practice your scales and modes in the learning section of the app, and as expected, you can also export your work as a PDF or as MIDI to import into whatever door you use. In-app purchases don't lock you off from the main features of the app. In fact, they only really come in when you want to unlock more scales in the learning section. Once you've exhausted your church modes and pentatonic scales, you can choose to pay £2.49 and that's going to unlock every scale you could possibly need. The other feature that does come into play in the in-app purchases with Internally is the PDF exports. But if you find that you want to use Tonally explicitly for exporting sheet music, then that feature is only going to cost £4.49 to unlock, which in my opinion isn't that bad. Is Tonally worth it? Yeah. This app could be great for anybody looking to beef up their music theory overall with a practical hands-on learning experience through Tonally's UI. I think it's well worth looking into. Its only downside is that it's only available on iOS. So let's look at an Android friendly option that does more of the same thing. Unlike Tonally, Chord Suggester is available on Android. However, the in-app purchases are a little more outweighed. For example, when selecting your scales, the app locks off every scale other than major scales, which seems pretty extreme. So bear in mind, if you wanna make the most of this app, then the in-app purchases are probably gonna be something that you wanna do. Like Tonally, this app will suggest chords to carry your chord progression forward. Super handy to have in your pocket if it's something that you find yourself struggling with. In my opinion, it might take you a little while longer to learn your way around the user interface with this app. It's not as intuitive as Tonally in my opinion, but still does a great job of providing you what you need when you know your way around the app. Some reviews report random crashes with this app. I didn't come across anything myself, hopefully you won't either, but give it a shot and see how it works for you. The last app in the section for writing I wanted to touch on was this app called Demo. Demo is an app that aims to help you write a song anywhere. This app acts as a great one-stop shop if you want to see all of your lyrics, your chord progressions, your song structures all in one place. The user interface is well designed and it has a bulky tutorial to help you from the beginning. It comes with presets, which was interesting to see. These presets would give you chord progressions based on the genre you selected. It kind of feels like a cheat code, but a great template for beginners to get started out on. It then allows you to edit your song progression, build your song structure, and write in your lyrics. I think overall, this app has been designed really well and has kept organization of your ideas in mind. What you want ideally at your fingertips is to be able to record, write your lyrics, see your chord progression, your structure all in one place, and Demo offers that. Unfortunately though, it's not available on Android. So let's look at some apps that can help you organize your lyrics across both iOS and Android. This is Word Palette. It's a pretty fast and simple option that also provides a dynamic word suggester. I can see this being really handy if you're struggling and coming up against a bit of writer's block. As you write your lyrics, a visual scrollable reel of word suggestions appears below your notepad for added inspiration. Pretty handy to have at your fingertips and available across both places. It's what we like to see. Now let's look at Rhymer's Block. This seems to be a more evolved app, but is more geared towards rhymes rather than just word suggestions. Rhyme Block calls itself a real-time rhyme suggestion engine. It generates suggested rhymes as you type to help you along the way with your lyrics. The in-app purchases unlock features that highlight your rhymes if that's something that you find helpful. It also unlocks visual themes for the UI if you want things to look a little bit more personalized and pretty for you. Another feature Rhymer's Block offers is a community access point so you can share your work online with others. I didn't take advantage of this feature, but check it out and give it a go, I guess. There's not many other apps that have community in mind from what I've seen, so this was refreshing. 
As a general rule, I don't encourage that you rely on apps that generate instant rhymes too much or spend too much time on websites like RhymeZone. Try and rely on your own brain first. It will improve your recall over time. And by recall, I mean how fast you can uh, pull lyrics, rhymes, ideas from your head. I have some lyric writing exercises on my channel that can help with something like this, so try that out. But back to Rhymer's Block, this could be perfect to unlock the language that you're searching for if you're struggling or if you just prefer to have suggestions there in front of you as you write for inspiration. Apps for recording across iOS and Android are plentiful, dependent on what it is that you need. They can be super quick and easy to use, especially if you don't have a portable solution for recording. First of all, it's a given that voice memos are, is a nice, easy way to store your ideas on the fly. So if you're not already, do that. Use voice memos and record everything for the sake of building up your own library of ideas to tap into at any given time. Whether it's a verse, a hook, a melody, whatever, record it. For multi-tracking apps though, here's some examples you could try. Across iOS, I'd recommend Abbey Road's Top Line. This is a more evolved version of voice memos, I would say. And of course, you've got GarageBand, which no doubt most musicians and songwriters will be accustomed to on iOS. If you're not already, jump in. And then on Android, I would recommend BandLab. All of these apps more or less offer the same solution for multi-tracking and recording on the go. Going in depth into these individually is a whole video of its own. <laughs> There's a lot of details and features to go into with each of these apps, so I'll cover these in future videos. In the meantime, research them on your own. Next up, let's talk about apps for tuning, and my pick is Fender's Tune. Maybe an obvious one for most, but really a tuner app in your pocket should be a given to have. Fender's Tuner app is the one that I recommend because it's precise, the UI is nice, it's simple, it's sleek, and it just does what it needs to do. Most importantly though, it provides all the customized tunings that you're ever gonna need for most instruments. In my opinion, it's the fastest and easiest app to use for tuning in general. While the tuner functionality is free with the Spender app, in addition, its in-app purchase options come with a ton of guitar playing resources. Scale patterns, chord diagrams, drum tracks, metronome, all the usual things that you'd expect. So that's worth a look if you don't mind paying a little extra. Lastly, I wanted to highlight the best app I could find for music notation. The app is called Flat. First of all, it's available on both iOS and Android. Out of other notation apps I've jumped into, this one seems to be the most intuitive editor out there. It allows you to easily write out sheet music for whatever instruments you choose. However, <laughs> however, and it's a big however. Some instruments are locked off in the premium tier. Bear that in mind, it's a steep one. $8.99 per month per month. But just to show you briefly, I quickly hashed out a simple melody in a few minutes to demonstrate and to test out the app myself. I don't typically notate for the songs that I write and rarely write or read sheet music, but I found this to be super easy to use. You're able to export as you'd expect via MIDI and PDF. However, the PDF export also comes at a price. There are pricey elements baked within this app for sure, but I have to say that the UI is incredibly easy to use. And I can see this being very accessible for beginners who have never written or notated using sheet music before. Hopefully I've highlighted some apps out there that you've maybe not heard of before. I will link in the description to all of the apps I mentioned today. And I would love to hear about the apps that you use consistently day to day as songwriters yourselves. Tell me in the comments below which apps you use and do they actually really genuinely assist you in your creative process when you're writing? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video.